Hi, Brian Mahone here, Senior Proactive Risk Executive in the state of Maryland, and I talk to people about business insurance and risk management for a living, and they hate it. You know, before you click off this video because, you know, your brother-in-law is your is your broker, your friend is your broker, and, you know, they got your back, and you do an annual review, and that's the gold standard, be honest with yourself. You know you really don't understand your business insurance. You, you think it's a necessary even evil or, or even uh, a, a waste of money. You know, I want to share with you the top four problems I see business insurance buyers have. You know, number one, they have no plan. They have no story, they have no clarity into data breaches, and they have no training. So have you ever built a house before? Of course. Well, you would have had a blueprint. And why would you have a blueprint? Well, so you knew you know, where things were going and when the project would be done and, and be able to see the process throughout the year. Well, why doesn't anyone do that with, with business insurance and risk management? Well, well I do. You know, I put together a, a, what I call proactive written service timeline or, or a calendar of you know, value added services uh, and exactly when they're going to happen and, and what's going to happen so you don't have to worry about you know, things like missed deadlines and headaches and eventually overpayment for insurance happening. The number two thing is, is no story. You know, these insurance carrier underwriters, they're, they're kind of like HR recruiters. I don't know if you ever hired anyone before, but you know, you get stacks and stacks and stacks of resumes on your desk. Same thing is true with business insurance underwriters. You know, they get these submissions, they got to pick the best ones and they got to get to work. They're inundated. These people have like 400 emails in their inbox every day. You know, we've developed a process to, to make sure, you know, our insureds are getting to the middle or to the top of that stack. Uh, it, it's as simple as telling a good story. You know, humans love stories. That's 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 no no joke. That's you know why the the Bible is the number one book of all time. Um, it, it, you know, a story just one or two pages it doesn't have to be something complicated. Of you know where your company's been, the the leadership team, their credentials, uh, where you are now, the the security protocols and processes and procedures you have in place, and where you're going, and if you're growing, and how so, and and your commitment to safety. You know, telling a good story gets you know those underwriters that aren't interested interested, and the ones that are interested more interested. Uh, usually saves you know five to twenty percent on on the overall annual insurance program costs. The the third thing, which is a is a twenty first century problem, is data breaches and and cybersecurity and and calculating you know, well. Uh, a breach is going to happen to me or not, and, and how, how so. You know, I've found that looking at cyber insurance and, and data breach and cyber liability is kind of like uh, when you prepare for your first kid. You know, you're not really sure how many diapers to buy, how many baby products to buy. You know, it's really easy to overspend, but if you underspend, you know, you're going to get messy. Uh, so I, I've developed a process to, you know, take your company's specific uh, industry and revenue and, and, and genetic makeup, if you will, and, and come back with data and a report on, you know, the number one assets that are likely to be affected, the actors, the, the things that cause breaches, uh, the estimated costs the uh, uh, peer and competitor cyber insurance limits and deductibles that, that uh, you know, benchmarking your company against your, those peers and competitors and, and coming back with a recommendation to make sure, you know, you're not overspending or underspending or, or it's just right, kind of like a Goldilocks scenario. The fourth and, and final thing is training. You know, uh, 30 30 percent uh, of data breaches are, are human error. Arguably, more than 30 percent. Um, a lot of uh, companies are running around wearing wearing multiple hats. You know, there's not a, a risk manager. There's not a, a training manager. Um, curious, you know, if, if you've ever uh, looked at uh, an, an NFL quarterback. You know, they call the plays, they call the shots, they make sure their team members know what exactly they're doing. And less tenured employees uh, understand company culture. Well, you know, an employee training program is, is like that. Um, curious, you know, for technology companies, phishing training, cybersecurity training, 
uh, driver safety training, anti-harassment, you know, with the Me Too movement, Harvey Weinstein in the news, and just a political, uh, politically correct and litigious society we live in, you know, these things are becoming more and more a concern. Of course, you can get insurance on the back end, but it's easier to be proactive and, and get that, that training uh, up front. Now, you might be saying, well, oh, this all sounds really expensive. Well, you're already paying for it. You know, you, you buy insurance, you have a broker, they're paid a commission. What do they do? Well, they should be doing these things. Uh, if, if you think that these would be helpful, then reach out to me.